will review Section 704B of the IRS Code of 1986 and the Treasury regulations amended under Section 1-704-1, quote, the distribution provisions in limited and general partnership agreements. These regulations permit the IRS to disregard allocations which are not made in accordance with partners' interests in the partnership unless those allocations satisfy the economic effect most easily satisfied by taking advantage of the safe harbor provisions set forth therein. In other words, an ever-changing sea of tax laws. Brother, go down the steps towards the pool. Here you go, brother. Horses from the wall. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Who killed Eddie Lomax? Go over and sit next to the man on the bench. I appreciate your coming, Mr. McDear. I'll call you Mitch if I may. My name is Voiles, Denton Voiles. I'm with the Department of Justice. What happened to Eddie Lomax? We've been investigating Bendini, Lambert, and Locke for four years. No lawyer has ever left your law firm alive. Two tried to leave, they were killed. Two were about to try, you know what happened. Now, we have reason to believe that your house is bugged. Your phones are tapped. Your office is wired. They may follow you. They may be here in Washington as we speak. But are you saying my life is I'm intense? saying that your life as you know it is over. Your law firm is the sole legal representative of the Moraldo crime family in Chicago, known as the Mafia, the mob. I don't believe it. They set up legitimate businesses with dirty money from drugs, gambling, prostitution, all cash, all moved offshore. You believe it. That's why you talked to Thomas A. Banks and the Caymans. That's why you got this private investigator asking questions that got him killed. Maybe 30% of their clients are legitimate. They bring in a new rookie, throw money at him, buy the car, the house. After a couple of years and your kids are in private schools, they're used to the good life, they tell you the truth. You mean every partner in the firm? Is... Every partner knows. We suspect most of the associates. Why don't you get indictments and, and, and bust it all up? We have to have somebody on the inside. We need to see copies of contracts, clients' bank records, articles of incorporation. Oh, wait a minute. You think I'm You can say no. We're going to break this firm. And when that happens, you're going to go to jail along with the rest. It'll happen soon, believe me. Why can't I just leave? That's what Kaczynski and Hodges were trying to do. You have to think this over. Meanwhile, you and your wife have to behave as though everything is normal. I don't discuss this with anyone. But make a decision. You help us, we'll make it worth your while. Worth my while? You still have a pretty good life. You mean... In a witness protection program? How? I live somebody else's life? In some nowhere place, and one day I'm backing out of the driveway and my car explodes? Doesn't have to be that way. I don't need much of a life, Mr. Voiles, but it has to be mine. Is that what you got now, son?
You ought to get back to the seminar. Terrence has full authority to negotiate on our behalf. Why don't you wander back past the memorial? You can call me in Memphis any time, day or night. The second one's a mobile number. Let me get this straight. I steal files from the firm, turn them over to the FBI, testify against my colleagues, send them to jail. They suckered you into this. Reveal privileged information that violates attorney-client confidences, get me disbarred, then testify in open court against the mafia. Well, unfortunately, Mitch... Let me ask you something. Are you out of your fucking mind? How long before they find out Lomax's cellmate was a guy named Ray McDeer? And when they do, what do you think they'll do to him? They can get to anyone, anywhere. What can you do? Your brother comes up for parole soon, doesn't he? You cooperate with us, I'll guarantee the board will be grateful. Otherwise, well, you know what those parole hearings are like. Could go either way. <laughs> 